Uh, Nikki always coming through with the goods there. Now on the topic of helping people, we've got a few hacks for maximum flavor when it comes to cooking. Now when you want to maximize your flavor from a dish, a compound spread, yeah, a compound spread is versatile and it's a great thing to keep on hand. It's simple, it's a flavor that can just kind of be stored. You can freeze it and you can slice it whenever you want so that it can be added to a flavored dish a little bit later. So it's kind of like the perfect addition to spicing up any meal. Now we're gonna show you a few flavor hacks to make compound spreads with Clover's butter. It's tasty, smooth, and oh so easy to spread. But I'm gonna get some help, of course. So I'm gonna get G-Man in here, brother. Let's do the things. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> do you know why? Why? It's really, really easy. Okay, <laughs> nice. Now look, I maybe I'm just is. jinxed us, dude. Maybe I'm <laughs> yeah, just jinxed us. Don't speak so soon. But listen, we've got three cool options here, right, I which can be used it, for man. amazing dishes. You wanna start us off with uh, what you got oh, on that side? It looks I, like I, a I, garlic herb vibe. No, this is herbaceous to the next level. Ooh, no man. coriander, just parsley, <laughs> garlic, yeah. and a little bit of fresh basil. I would almost make even more, I would kind of go two roots, a herby one and a very basil one. Okay, Because nice. this is almost like a sauce in a little cube, dude. Yes. You can imagine in the, the different ways that you can use it, so. I'm just thinking of all mm. the beautiful uh, uh, toasts that I'm gonna eat. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like so basic like that, man, but I'm like, gee, there's so much more you can do this with, with this. Okay. Yeah. You can wipe each one down this, or you can kind of do the bruschetta, bring it fresh out of the oven, and people can have a choice of their own butters and Stop they can, it, oh, man. come on, get out, get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I've chopped up the fresh basil. Okay, and nice. like I say, I would go moggy with the basil. I absolutely love it. Yes. This one, we want a nice balance. And this is quite, an, I think, an Italian-inspired mm. flavor combination. Mm, mm, mm. Um, and don't be shy on the garlic, my friends. And then, of course, we work in our butter. Um, and this is what I love. Like, I, it's one of the few spreads that you can keep in the fridge and still take out and use. Yes. <laughs> you know, obviously we haven't done it for this purpose. <laughs> not have to wait purpose. hours, yes. hours. So We're looking at about two big tablespoons, but you can work on the consistency that, that feels right, feels good for you, man. I can imagine something like putting this on potatoes, chicken actually. wings, you oh, name it. That's gonna really oh, vibe. Goodness. Mm. And look, it actually is pretty easy. But, but that's it, dude, that's it. And then we're gonna simply put it on our paper and turn it into a log. Nice. Um, what are you working on All on right. your side, my friend? grab one, uh, option number two over here. Uh, this is called the Café de Paris. All right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I've never actually attempted this before, but apparently, like you've just shown us, it is very easy. So I'm excited to check this out. First, we're going to start off with four tablespoons of our beautiful hero ingredient. We're talking about Batro. And like G says, look how easy it is to work with this. It just slides in there. Um, and this is something, like I said, that is going to really, really form part of the flavor upgrade on any dish that you kind of get involved in. So once my four tablespoons are in there, we've got some mustard going in this one. And that goes in some, oh, nice stuff, man. Live over there. Can you smell that? Oh, okay. that's Damn. good. Can um, put that in your nostril. Yeah, mm. just popped in some garlic. We've got lemon juice and then a little bit of salt and pepper just for some extra mm. pizzazz and some balancing. And then just like she said, you mix it all up, pop it into our, uh, what, what is this, like a cellophane? A yeah. yeah, and then you kind of roll it up, put it in the fridge, and then flavor sorted for like a month almost, right? Just depending on how big your slices are. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can make, look, we're making quite timid ones. You can make them bigger. You know how many of these I have to go through, and I'm terrible. I'm like single handedly destroying the planet when I try and do my son's <laughs> sandwiches in the morning. Oh, of course. And I'll do, yeah. I, I just can't. I'm that. like, the fact that I could roll this out, that's why I was what's, like, just. What's harder? Let me do this off camera, please, because. Uh, um, wrapping books or <laughs> wrapping uh, sandwiches? I, I haven't tried a book yet. <laughs> Dude, I guarantee you, books is gonna be more difficult. <laughs> yeah, I was the kid with brown books at school. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, no, this is my theme. Anyway, what do you got on that side, oh, man? That's amazing. Okay, so let's temper this with something a little bit more meaty. Um, this has got a real flavor punch, and I oh. think a flavor profile that a lot of people love. And it shows you how different each one of these can be. You didn't hold back at all, boy. I like that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you're We're going all the you're way. commercializing. You're going to slice it up and sell it in little cubes. <laughs> I'm little putting my cubes. name on this. <laughs> oh. um, okay, so we've got some beautiful, um, very crispy little bacon bits. And I would say the more crispy, the better. You want to caramelize yes, um, that as much as possible. And then we've got some caramelized onion. Oh, nice. Well played. Um, well beautiful, played. sweet. And is that not just a gorgeous mix? Caramelized onion, that sweetness with the sweet kind of umami of the... Um, the bacon, it's just gonna absolutely land. Um, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm healthier? using, this whole thing is gonna be That's used. fine. Uh, We're gonna finish that butter yeah, anyway, regardless. No doubt. <laughs> Everyone uh, digs into this. 
But and again, I like the mixability is insane for me, man. Oh. It has such a smooth, easy texture. It's so workable. I can almost get inspired by so many other sort of flavor uh, blended compounds that I can create from this. And oh, let me tell you, Mzanzi, not only that, but when you're using bacho, I mean, it's made with the goodness of dairy. It's clover bacho. We're talking about something that's tasty, smooth, as you've seen, and it's so easy to spread and mix, like you've just seen as well. And you can make a double batch even. I think everybody over here will after you smell this. <laughs> and it's tasty. It's a spread that's perfect for sharing with your guests too so what are you waiting for get involved in this one and i like you see now it's so so easy g just finish up the last oh, option oh, yeah. on this one and check this out g you know later on in the show we're actually going to be using this in our recipe to show you how you can practically incorporate these beautiful flavors we got you so we've done like your whole week's meal yeah we've yeah, sorted, sorted. <laughs> just need yeah to sir. but beautiful. of course come in for that one later we're going to do some more recipes with this beautiful flavor so don't go anywhere Mzanzi. sort out your workstation boy what's going on here <laughs> come on man this is ridiculous <laughs> I'd love another one, please, Mommy. With bacho and lots of jack. Another sandwich. Clover Batro. Spread the dairy goodness. Made with love by Clover.